I love love.、Mm. I think sometimes I can be quite close to love. Like、okay. I'm quite protective of my heart, very、mm-hmm. protective. But I love love. Right. Makes the world go round. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Ash Home, and welcome to My Love Is, the podcast brought to you by Bumble. Bumble is the dating app that empowers women to make the first move, and we love to see it. Okay. For me, my love is personally someone making me a beautiful British brew after any minor inconvenience, no matter how big or small. If we get to that level. We're in love, okay. Across this series, I'm going to be joined by some amazing guests, and we are going to be talking everything about modern dating and modern love, all the way from situationships, polyamory, the hells and horrors of first dates, right through to your conventional Romeo and Juliet love stories. You want it? We've got it. We're going to chat about it. Oh, cr- today I'm joined by the amazing Olivia Dean. She is very quickly rising to fame. She is unbelievably talented, and her Her debut album *Messy* is out now, and it explores dating, situationships, relationships, what to do, what not to do, which is very apt for today. I can't wait to chat to her, Olivia Dean. Hi, Hi baby girl. Hi. I'm going to call you Liv. You can、right. We just had that little chat. We're good. Off. I was like, Liv, Olivia. I always like to ask what people's preference is. How are you, Annie? Thank、I'm、you、fab. for joining us. I'm really fab today. What is going on in life? What is <sighs> In、I'm、store just, for you at the moment. I'm just happy. Like my debut、that. album is about to come out, and I'm really proud of it. Nice. And spring's here. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. It's ropey. <laughs> it's a little bit ropey. I'm not going to lie. Still, you. But I'm wearing sunglasses, so that means it's spring. Period.、Yeah. Every day. Okay. I feel like this is almost like a little date vibe. Kind of. So we're gonna. <laughs> So we're going to play the Bumble question game. I'm ready. Okay, I've taken some questions actually off the Bumble app. Okay, this is a feature on the app which we love to see.、Uh, so we're just going to get to know each other a、I'm、little、ready. bit. Yeah, nice. I've dated before. <laughs> <laughs> What is your favourite karaoke song? Like your go-to? I will survive, Gloria Gaynor. Go on now, go. You're mad. Yeah, that's so, that's a it's hard, a big song. Yeah, that's yeah. a massive song. And I know sometimes with karaoke, like you're not supposed to like sing good. Like、right. you're supposed to just like have fun with it. Do sometimes you know I don't. Sometimes I go in. I don't think you should. I always think this. I'm like because I used to dabble in music back in the day.、Right? Okay, yeah. So I used to be like at karaoke. How cringe is it of me to go in right now? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because I kind of want to, especially if I'm two tequilas deep. Yeah. Oh. You've got to read the room, but sometimes、right. I just want people to be like, "Oh, <laughs> you know, you need the heads to be turned、yeah. to an extent,、yeah. right? What's yours? That, pff, right, mine, without a shadow of a doubt, is Shania Twain. I feel like a woman. Love it. Do you know? You know when you just hear, du, 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 "Let's go, girl." That. <laughs> Oh my god! It's like serotonin level a hundred. It makes me want to knock a door off its hinges. I don't know why. I love it. Yeah, I love But it. But that you can't really do that seriously. I feel that song. No, you have to be. It's all, it's just、yeah. a bit silly. It's tongue in cheek. Yeah, and just just a bit of、yeah. choreo, you know. <laughs> with yeah, the boots. Yeah, <laughs> with the boots. I have. I've got my Shania Twain boots on. Okay, right. What is something you're really terrible at? <sighs> so many things. <laughs> no. Um, I am really terrible at texting people back. Really, really、okay. terrible.、Right. Like just texting in general. I'm really、mm-hmm. good at a voice note. Love a voice、right. note. I can just reply quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Texting. Ooh, I can let that cook for weeks sometimes. Really, yeah. And be like, hey, sorry, I didn't get back to this. Oh my god, that is me. That's my phrase. That sorry, my I didn't tox- get back to this. Yeah, yeah. That's my toxic trait. Six、yeah. weeks later. Oh yeah, but anyway, how are you?、And、yeah, no, babe, that, you missed it. Conversation's gone. Yeah, I'm like, okay. I don't know. My phone makes me anxious sometimes. Right, all、okay. the time. I want to just delve into this because I feel like this all the time,、mm. and a lot of my mates feel this way as well. I feel especially if you you're an artist, you obviously have followers. People are messaging、mm. all the time. Your phone's probably always blowing up. I have this where I'm like, I see the messages piling up, and I'm just like, this is making me feel anxious. I'm just not going to reply to any of them. Yeah, which actually makes it worse. Makes it worse <laughs> overall. But I'm on a thing right now where I'm like, sorry, we're going off on a tangent, but I delete Instagram on the weekends. I'm like, loads of people do this now. I need my weekend back. I need my、really? life. Yeah, like I just、Good、can't spend every moment being like, right, I need right. Some time off. You want to be present. I would recommend. I've been thinking about doing this, but I'm yeah. I'm. But then you're like, oh, I'm missing what everyone's doing, but actually,、right. 
They're always doing something else. But what are you really missing? Because you're with your mates anyway yeah. on weekends doing whatever you want to be doing. So exactly. Like, I love that. Would recommend. Sorry. Yeah, that's very healthy. <laughs> yeah. I, do, I feel like a lot of my mates at the moment are trying to do that, like exercise these like boundaries mm. on like socials and stuff because it's a lot. Like it gets too much. Right? It does. Yeah. Right. Okay. This, this one's a hard one. If you could wear the same thing every day, Oof. what would it be? This is hard to ask a creative because I feel like creative I love people clothes. just, yeah. I love clothes. I knew you were going to say that. If I could wear the same thing every day, mm. I would wear a dress. Would you? So I could be, not like a, like a dress, yeah. but like sort of like a flow, <laughs> okay. like no. a flowy dress. Like okay, I have cute. this purple dress that I was wearing on my birthday recently and I would wear that. Oh, cute. It's kind of like cottage core vibes, like Story MFG. Do you know that? Thing? No. It's really cute. Oh, nice. Yeah. I and love when that. I'm feeling bad, I just put that on. So I would go for that. Oh, dress. That's really cute. Yeah. Are you like a girly girly in the type of Honestly, clothing you wear? Honestly, it differs every day. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, I'm going to wear baggy pants. And right. I'm going to wear a huge baggy t shirt. And, and you I'm going to harness my Yeah, energy. when I'm coming or going. But yeah. other times I'm like, ooh, put me in a skirt. Yeah. It just I love depends. That. Yeah. We're always changing. It's so whatever you feel on the day, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I love that. Okay. I want to see that dress. Yeah. You'll have to show me after this. Yeah. Um, okay. What's the <laughs> what's the oddest thing you find attractive in someone? Ooh. This could go really left. <laughs> if I ask my friends this question, or it's honestly like a Pandora's box of the, just awfulness. The oddest thing. Mm. God, I don't even know. <laughs> That's really got my attention. I don't know if it's an odd thing, but I like when someone's like, it's not even like a good dancer. Like, you don't need to be a good dancer. Yes. I just want to see you enjoying yourself. Rhythm. Don't be stiff. No, oh, I don't even need to be ready to have rhythm. Honestly, it's kind of endearing when there's maybe no rhythm. Really? But what I like is when it's just like, you're just having fun. Okay. I'm you're just, just you're, it, like, you're the fearless. To let loose. You're fearless, and fine. If you're fearless, but you still look embarrassing, I'm still like, that's really nice. Oh, I love that. Yeah. For me, it's hard, isn't it? It is hard. If if I'm going for a quirky thing... Okay, I'm ready. Veiny arms. <laughs> we don't need to chat about that one too much. Veiny arms. Veiny arms. Veiny what do you arms. mean? Yeah. A veiny hand, quite a nice. Ve- oh, a veiny hand. Do you know what, as well, if it looks like... <laughs> I don't... I like a rugged hand. Mm. I like it to look like... A workman's do... hand. <laughs> a manual labour hand. That honestly, I'd rather that than you know when girls are like, oh, I like it when boys keep like their nails all nice and cute. I agree. It's, Get it away. I love the cleanliness, but I'm yeah. like, oh, I need it to look like you've been at the workshop all day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's move on. Yes. To, to love. Yeah. Uh, what is going on in your dating life? You can you can elaborate or not elaborate as much as you'd like. <laughs> but yeah, where are you at right now? With, um, with dating in general, with love, are you looking for it? Oh are no, you... I've got it. Oh, you've got it. I've got it. <gasps> Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for you. I got okay. it, and I got it good. Got it. And I'm really happy. Nice. You know, I've dated. Mm-hmm. I've sort of, you know, shopped around. Of course, but I need to. I'm settled right okay. now. Nice. In a healthy way. Okay. I'm loving it. And you're happy and very you're... much so. Yeah. Oh my god, I love this feeling. Sorry, to brag. No, yeah, in it. All to me. <laughs> Cannot relate. Right. Okay. Um, I love that your new album is called Messy. Yes. Because I feel like that relates to so many people mm-hmm. and their experiences with love, their experiences with dating. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. It is a mess. And not even it's not always a bad mess, but it's it's messy. But this is the thing, like. When I thought about that title for the album, mm-hmm. I was like, it's a beautiful thing to be messy. Yeah, right. Like, in an age at the moment where everyone's like, on social media, like, look at my perfect life. Mm-hmm. Look at my perfect life. Right. I'm actually saying, no, your life's a mess. Yeah, yeah. So it's mine. And that's yeah. okay. Right. That's what makes us human, you it's know? It's like imperfections are perfections. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love that. And did that influence you when you were writing this album? For sure. Um... The song Messy, which is the title track mm-hmm. of the album, was actually the last song that I wrote for the right. record. Because I'd written all this music and I was like, but what's my album called? Like, mm-hmm. And then I started writing this song and I, the only words I could get were messy. And then I was listening to it and I was like, Olivia, what is this song about? Like, is this about like a relationship being messy? Right. And I was like, no, this is a song to yourself saying, ah, you're a mess. Right. And I'd never written a song to myself before. Okay. And I was like, 
Yeah. This is the I name of the that. album. It's done. Yeah. I love those like light bulb moments. Yeah. Because I even I remember that going back to like when I was doing music and mm-hmm. you, you had such a vision for like the way a project was going. Mm. And then by the time it's finished, it's like almost not what you expected it to be at all. But you're like, okay. Yeah, you're like, that's the journey. Yeah. Okay. It's nice. the process. Yeah. And when you were writing that song, do you feel like music for you is almost like a form of therapy and like an outlet? A hundred percent. To like say what you want to say, but through your music? It's very cathartic, making mm-hmm. music, because it's like you can take an emotion or like, I don't know, like take a picture of like a moment mm. in time and then just craft it beautifully right. and like say exactly what you'd want to say. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes in the moment, I find it really hard to like tell people how I feel because it's like, okay. what well, if I get it wrong and like I say yeah. the wrong words? Mm-hmm. The beautiful thing about writing a song is like, you can go over here and be like, right, <laughs> yeah. You could be and like, then be like, shut up and just listen. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. you know, no interruptions. I love that. That's really cute. And do you feel like you've reflected on your own relationships through your songs as well? Completely, I mean. Because you know how, like, Adele always says that all her best songs have come out of heartbreak. And she's like, I'm sorry, but, but I'm a mess. The truth. You're going to know about it. Yeah, I mean, all, all of my music really is, is centred mm-hmm. around, like, love and, like, my relationships I've been in and... They definitely like chronicle chapters of my life. Really? Yeah. When so you listen, cool. yeah, when, I was going to say, when you listen to him back, is it almost like, oh, ha, there <laughs> I was at 16 thinking that one was a sweet one. And then you listen to the next, like, do you know what I mean? But it's crazy because it's like, even songs that I wrote at the time I wrote them where I thought they were like these intense love songs. When mm-hmm. I listen back to them now, I'm like, oh, no, there was a bit of a thread of... You know, something really? else in there, they, they change, okay. yeah. yeah. And, I, and I listen to them differently now that I'm older. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Well, it's mad because that's even, like, when you were younger and you thought that you were madly in love with somebody and then mm-hmm. you look back and 10 years on and you're like, that mm. is hilarious. Yeah. Like, I thought that was that deep. Yeah. Yeah. But it always is deep for me. I'm like really? deep, yeah. Are you a deep girl? I'm deep, deep are romantic. You? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So are you like a bit of a hopeless romantic in that sense? Like, do you love love? I love love. Mm. I think sometimes I can be quite close to love. Like okay. I'm quite protective of my heart. Very mm-hmm. protective, but I love love. Right. It makes the world go round. It's beautiful. It does. It really does. I love that. That's a really nice answer. Um, you have a song about being your own boyfriend. Correct. How important do you think self-love is? Like, how important um, is that to you? It's everything. Yeah. I could go on and on and on and on and on about self-love. Me too. I just think everyone should have the capacity to, like, make themselves happy to an extent. Because mm-hmm. then it's like you don't need somebody else to come into right. your life and, like, complete it and, mm-hmm. like, make it better. Like, you're good. Yeah. And so then the love you accept is only mm-hmm. additional yeah, you know what I mean, you only accept things. It's like, oh yeah, you're adding something. Yeah. Thank you because I, I can go this. for dinner by myself. Right. So if you're coming for dinner with me, you're fab. Period. Yeah, because I know I'm happy by myself. Just yeah. Eating my rigatoni without any stress. AirPods in, Netflix <laughs> yeah. on, having a fantastic yeah. time. And it's so true. Like it's so cliche. I hate it when people say, oh, "You can't love someone until you love yourself." But, but like, no, facts. it is really true. Yeah. It, it is really, really is. true. And it's so important to be independent. Like, if I want to go and see a film at the cinema, I'm finna go. Yeah. I just feel like this Gen Z era is very much at peace. Am I Gen Z? Are you Gen Z? Are you Gen Z? I'm not Gen Z. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to lie here? <laughs> I'd like to say I am. I'm a millennial. Okay. I was born in 99. Uh, so do I count? Uh, okay. Mm. I like this. <laughs> You're like on the cusp. I feel I'm 96. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come on. Not even. But yeah. I'm 96. But, but yeah, I feel like we are on that cusp mm. of almost seeing two sides of how people, like, just people are communicating now. Yeah. You know, like, now everything is phones, everything is socials, everything is dating apps. Right. I'm a real, like, technophobe. Like, I really... I don't know. I just, sometimes, I mean, I said earlier, like, phones stress me out. Yeah, I get that. You'd almost just, like, real-life connections. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I also think... We're lacking that a little bit yeah. sometimes. Come you know on, how everybody like, get together. Yeah, yeah. You know how everyone's like, no phones at dinner. I feel quite passionately about that. Yeah. Sometimes I'll be like at dinner with my dad, mm. and I'm noticing that I'm and I'm like, oh my god, what am I doing? Yeah, get, put it like, down. Stop. Like get a grip. Yeah. yeah. But I just feel like, do you think 
the Gen Z era are more at peace with being single than maybe people were before? Mm. I think yes and no. Really? I don't know. I feel like... Okay. I mean, I don't know. It's a good question. I think... I think yes. Yeah, I think really. it's definitely less like, oh, got to get married. Yeah. Like, quit. Right. Got to have these babies. Uh-huh. I mean, those, also like... some people who want to do that, that's bad for you. Mm-hmm. But I think people are a bit more like, oh, like, what do I actually want to do? Like, do yeah. I need to have a boyfriend uh-huh. or, girl, or girlfriend? You know, I do think these, like, typical, like, social constructs are, like, less and less needing to be so cemented now. Yeah. Like, I think everyone's just more fluid with stuff, aren't they? They're making their own mind up. Mm-hmm. They're making their own types of relationship. Right. So it doesn't have to be so black and white. Like, mm-hmm. we are boyfriend and girlfriend. It's like, yeah. we find. Right. See you when I see you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, agree. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a lot of those. <laughs> a lot of see you when I see and, you. And, yeah, and not, not necessarily... Uh, I'm happy about it. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh God, yeah, that's hilarious. What about <laughs> friends? How do you think they play a role in dating? Like, do your friends play a big role in your dating life, for example? Like, do you really care for their opinions? Oh, I mean, I have opinions. <laughs> I have opinions. Same, same. No, I think it's good to like, you know what? I think, again, it's balanced. Like, mm-hmm. I think one thing that I've learned in terms of like friends and dating I think it's important to share with your friends what's going on in your relationship. Mm-hmm. However, you can get into the trap of like sometimes only sharing like the bad stuff. Oh my god! Because when All you're vibing and you're having the best time, yeah. you're not being like, "Oh my god, this is what yeah. happened." You're normally coming home and being like, oh, "So and so, so this, da 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 da." Yeah. And then they start to build up this thing. Sometimes it's like, "Well, we don't like them," mm-hmm. and it's like, "But you don't annoy them." Yeah, right? yeah. So I think it's good to share, mm-hmm. but also. Your relationship is your relationship. Like, have some boundaries. It's balanced, though. Yeah. Do you know I've what I mean? had so many situations like this where I've been in relationships and I've really... Because for me, I don't have, like, a huge family mm. unit. It's just me and my dad. So, mm. like, for me, my friends are really, like... Key. Yeah. Yeah, my, chosen like, family. Heart and yeah. soul, definitely. So, like, I make the mistake of really falling into that trap mm. of, like, the any time I feel away, I'm like, oh, God, I need to speak to you about this. Mm. And then you're right, you're almost You like, can't pull it back. Oh, no, you cannot pull it back. You're, like, painting this, like, monster image. Yeah, and then somebody. they pull up the references. They're, yeah, but he said this the other right. day. And it's like, yeah, but... And you're like, we've also had fantastic days, but I'm not... But they're not oh, there. Yeah. By the way, just to let you know, I'm feeling so lit. Exactly. <laughs> Why are you going to do that? Exactly. Right. So it's hard. Right. So for you, it's just, like maintaining those boundaries. I think so. Yeah. I think so. But I'm also very opinionated on other people's relationships. I can't help it. Yeah, me too. Me too. I just love, like, ooh, being like, so what happened? What's going Mm, on over there? mm. Particularly, I think it's also hard to see your friends, you know, when you know somebody is not right for somebody. Oh, God. It, like, hurts your soul because you're like... But it's like, I think people in life have to go through certain Mm. relationships Mm. and it's hard when you feel like you've been through a type of relationship and then you see your friend going through it and you're like oh girl no like you've got to learn you've got to learn a lesson yeah I agree I agree I love that you're so like diplomatic (laughs) yeah you're just I'm really loving the energy thank you do you think people like music can help people date do you Mm. think it brings people together I like to ask this like because you're a musician and it's such a huge part of your life. I would say it's definitely a big part of, like, my relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, I love sharing music. Mm-hmm. And, like, I feel like maybe it's just because I'm a musician, but, like, at the beginning of relationships, I have mm. this often, like, here's this song. Oh, it's a, that's a love language. Oh, I, I love, anyone says. I love, like, I made you a playlist. I made you a mixtape. It's so cute. Think. Yeah, I remember with my, like, first love... That was like our thing. I think that was probably my only only person I've ever been in love with. Aww. That was like our thing, and I, I remember being so gassed. Like, like he'd, yeah, he'd send a song, and I'd be like, oh my god, <laughs> and I'm gonna go bust it in the car. Listen because, to it over and over yeah, again. Yeah, like, then, so the acoustics are really good. I can really. What is so nice? It's true though. Like it really does. Do you, whoever you're with, whoever you're entertaining at the moment, mm-hmm. do you like? Go and gig together. Do you go and like? Is that like a real yeah. part of your yeah. journey? We love going to gigs together. Mm-hmm. Like always, got something in the calendar to look forward to. Right. That's important to having something to look forward to. Hundred percent. You know. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're very musical. Mm -hmm. Love listening to vinyls together. Oh, I love that. It's cute. Yeah. Also, it's thoughtful. I feel yeah. like if somebody's taken the time out of there, because I do it with my close friends like, mm -hmm. who have similar music days to me, I'll say, listen to this on your way home You're from gonna work. You're going to love this. You're going to love this. Or yeah. if they're in a bad mood, I'm like, this will cheer you up. Yeah. And there's always like really so appreciated when mm. you do that. They're like, oh. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I you need know. something new. Because also with music, I feel like you can end up listening to the same thing like over and over again. Oh, I'm very that. Just run up the same five songs for like a month. Yeah. But it's actually like, I need something new. Thank you. Yeah, until you're like sick to death of them. Yeah. And then you don't want to hear them in the playlist anymore. Get it off. I do this all the time. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you know, but, but Bumble have a compliments feature. Yes. Okay. And there's like a new viral trend happening at the moment. Okay. And it's basically trying to encourage people to give compliments that are not just based on aesthetic appearance. Blah, Love blah, blah. that. Like, what do you think about it? Do you think, like, this is a way forward? Do you think this is what we should, should do? I love that. Yeah. I feel like it's hard with, like, dating apps sometimes because it's just naturally they are quite superficial. Mm -hmm. And it's like... You're just seeing a face. Yeah. And you're like, do I like that face? Mm -hmm. Could I vibe with that face? Right. I don't know. Yeah. But when the face is talking and it's actually having personality, yeah. that's the most beautiful thing. <laughs> How do you feel about being complimented? Do you take it well? Um, I think in a very British way, sometimes okay. no. Like, right. I'm like, thank you. Yeah. Like, a bit shy with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think it's a beautiful thing yeah. to compliment someone. I think I'm better at giving them than receiving them. Really? Yeah. I'm very like that. Yeah. Like me and my mate really have this, my best mate, where we're always, like, if you see something, I don't know, a girl that's wearing, like, a beautiful coloured dress tell and them. compliments her, like, I will actively go, we like, go up to them and tell her that because it's, like... So nice. It's just so nice because you can see it really, like, change someone's whole yeah. aura. Like, and also the more specific the compliment, it right. just goes, like... Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're right. Because then it's like you've really... I can love your boots. Right, you're paying attention. I do love your boots. Thank you. <laughs> do you know, I do I do feel slay in these boots. There they are. Anything with a little stiletto heel, I'm it. like, oh, I'm really in there. Yeah. yeah. But what about compliments that aren't based on appearance? Because mm -hmm. I think this is really important and it's something that Bumble are doing, which I think is so clever. Because, yes. again, it gives a bit of an insight in how to actually get to know somebody and you're not just looking at five images of them and then making a exact choice about whether they're the love of your life or not. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, it's harder to give those kind of compliments, mm -hmm. but they mean more. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like they hold more value. Exactly. You remember. If you were going to give a compliment to your partner currently mm. that was not based on appearance, what would yours be? Got a really nice laugh. Oh, that's sweet. A really, a really lovely laugh. Okay. Also, a very high singing voice. Oh, that really? really makes me laugh. That's even cuter. But loves to sing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I, I don't have a love interest, so I have nothing to say regarding Nothing on the table <laughs> currently. Mm -hmm. No comment. <laughs> no, I don't know. Are you ready for love? I think so. Mm -hmm. But I'm also, I think even going back to what we were saying about this whole like Gen Z kind of era I'm also really happy where I am in myself mm. so it's like what you were saying like I don't feel the need to be in love if yeah. it's not the right person yeah like it's I have be no the right desire person. to do that so I'm like life is short right I'm like if you're really an extension of who I am mm -hmm. and like really adding to my life positively then like great if you're yeah. just there I can do without I'm, I, honestly I'm happy being a single gal yeah if, if it's not that do you give yourself compliments? Do I give myself compliments? I actually Maybe do. Like internally. No, no. You know what? I actually do. Really? Yeah. It's funny. One of my best friends has this thing called Kiss the Mirror that she does. I'm dead. Stop. It's quite dramatic. Quite a lot. Does she genuinely lips the mirror? Sometimes. No. Not like a big lip, yeah, but just like... <laughs> imagine. If you're having a bit of a shit day... Right. Just Kiss the mirror. Really? I love you, babe. I think I'd burst that laugh. In like a tongue-in-cheek like, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. oh, you're doing it, sis. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. yeah. I love that. <laughs> Do you tell those, those little compliments? Sometimes I feel like I'm like you in the sense of 
great addition out compliments. Mm. I'm not very good at taking them. Mm. Sometimes I have to really check myself and I yeah. have to be like, stop, just say thank you. Yeah, and it's be hard done with though. It. It's yeah. hard to like receive love sometimes. Right. Yeah. It's quite like intense. I why mean, do you I think, find it why, personally. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I feel exactly the same. Like, I want to give it, I want to give it. Uh-huh. But then it's like when someone's leaves, he's like, oh God, stop. Yeah, it's be like, embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Space and fade out. Yeah, I agree. Why do you think that is? I don't know. That's, all, that's quite an existential question, but... It's a, yeah, it's a big one. That is a big one. Why do we find it hard to receive? <laughs> Thank you for that? coming to my TED Talk. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. No? I'm still figuring it out. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Therapy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love, yeah, I love that. Therapy's great. It's I incredible. also love how Gen Z are very much mindful of mm. the positive aspects of it. I think I feel like the stigma's really like going in terms of that. Yeah, and I think even in relationships, I think this generation is very good at communicating. I think, mm-hmm. or at least trying to be, and like mm-hmm. putting emphasis on like let's talk about it. Yeah. Like if something goes going on in the relationship, like right. rather than talking about it, let's talk about mm-hmm. it. Yeah, let's just communicate. Right. Communication is key. Key. It always is. That's the only reason why I think half of situationships or even stuff that you thought would work out but didn't mm. or went a different way, half of it has always been a communication thing. Just for, let for me know me. how you're feeling. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Have you had situations where you think you could have communicated better and it might have changed the outcome? A hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. I'm, as I said, I'm quite like a deep romantic. Mm-hmm. And I think in the past, if I feel like I've been wronged or like right. anything, I can actually be quite like, goodbye, you're never going to see me again. Oh, okay, yeah. Whereas I think it is important and reflection to maybe Mm -hmm. just talk about it. Fine. Close things in a respectful Mm -hmm. and, like, you know, nice way. Yeah. But it's hard sometimes when you're feeling rage. It's easier said than done. Yeah. Like, especially when your ego is involved and stuff. For me, I have, like, a huge pride thing as well. So I'm like, oh, my God, no, but I think whether it lasted like three months mm-hmm. or like over one years, you still had a relationship and, you know, right. it's important to close it. Uh-huh. So I would like to get better at... At closure. 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 Respectful closure. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I had a situation, where, though this was interesting actually, I had a situation once where I was kind of seeing someone and uh, I was really trying to exercise this throat chakra thing I was like right you know say what needs to be said ask the question it's not you know I think there's also so much stigma around it you getting embarrassed and being like Mm. is it valid for me to ask it you know like what we are yeah everybody hates that question nobody likes this conversation but I gotta know right but you have to know and I remember at this point in time I was like no I need to know what is going on here. Like, what's in your head and what's in my mm-hmm. head? Because if they're not the same things, then eventually gonna this work. is going to go to absolute part and then yeah. people are going to be upset, right? And I remember it was the first time that I'd ever been able to actually say to a guy, like, listen, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Like, where are you at? Because I really can't work this out. And he literally was like, I'm really glad you asked me. And he literally went, I think I've realised I'm just not over my ex. Oh! Yeah, and I went... <laughs> I was like, great, at least I know. Yeah, because thank I you was for like, letting me know. Let's let's put a pin in this now then. Mm. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, like I just think you're great, but I've definitely should have voiced this earlier. Mm. And I'm really glad that you said something because I've been Good trying to figure you. it out. And obviously that was hell and horror yeah. for, for me. But a year later he ended up messaging me and but he just said, by the way, I think you handled that like mm. He was like, I've, I've never had someone that was that open in mm. that way. And I'd never been open in that way either. And he was literally, like, so thankful for it. Yeah. He was like, I'm really glad that you just said exactly how... And it was left so nicely. No beef. Right. We don't need beef. Yeah. Yeah. So, Liv, I don't know if you know, but Bumble, the whole ethos of it is mm. kind of giving women the empowerment to make the first move. Love it. Right? How do you feel about that? Especially because I feel like you're really on this... You think I made the first move? <laughs> no, I, no, I don't know. Did you? Well, <laughs> I know. I think I'm pretty, like, confident when mm-hmm. it comes to dating. It depends, obviously, on the situation. But mm. I love that about Bumble, that it's like, hello, Yeah. I would like to speak with you. Right. It's so nice to put 
that power in the hands yeah. of women. And you've got to lead well. with confidence, you uh-huh. know? Let them know, I'm a confident lady. Right. And you are actually lucky to be on a date with me. I'm right. just here to check if this is going to be a good I'm match here to or check not. your credentials. Yeah, like, yeah. I always say that to my friends when they're like, I'm giving them the pep talk before a first date. I'm mm. like, remember... You're a diamond in the rough, babe. Right. He's lucky to be going on a date with you. Right. You're just going to check if you like him. Right. Like, don't go into the date being like, oh, are they going to like me? Are they going to like me? Right. Of course they are. Yeah. You're a catch. You actually really need to have those, like... The pep talk. Yeah, you yeah. do need that little sort of pep talk. <laughs> you do. It's, that, it's back to that whole self-love thing again. It's like you need that little... Okay, wait, get a grip. yeah. You're a saucy dish. Yeah. Right? They're going to love you. And They're going to they love well, me. Uh, whoops. Yeah. More for whoever else. Back on Bumble we go. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, I love that. Liv, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you I've for having me. I loved having you here. Uh, I'm so excited for your music and your journey and everything, and your love journey as well. Yeah, me too. Uh, to round off, mm-hmm. I like to ask everyone what their love is. Okay. Uh, because that is the whole thing of this podcast. That's the little ethos. Mm. My love, personally, is somebody making me cups of tea. Mm. A beautiful British brew. Yeah. After any minor inconvenience. Brewed well. For me, that's just... Yeah, brewed well. That's key. Yeah, but not watery. Me, oh, no. Don't just smush the tea bag against the side and then give it to me. <sighs> it, my heart would Don't hurt. bother. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. But that, for me, is just like, oh, you care. Oh. Yeah, so that's my love. I was going to go for more like a bigger statement. Yeah, go on. I was going to say like my love is understanding. Nice. As in just like not jumping to conclusions. Mm -hmm. I kind of guess tied to like communicating, but just like Mm -hmm. listening and being understanding of like the other person's also a human. Right. And I'm a human and just try to understand me. Oh, to be understood. Just to be, oh, oh, to be understood. Like, I feel like that is like the bottom of life. I feel you know? like name of the next album now, understood. Wow. Mm. Profound. Credit you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah in it. Give me them royalties, girl. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. This has been My Love Is with myself, Ash Home. It's been amazing to have Olivia with us. What a diamond, okay? I think you'll all agree. Make sure you follow the pod, keep watching, join the conversation, get involved. Your opinion matters and we want to spark some conversation because otherwise, what is the point? Bye. Bye.